Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to the Sandman. Previously in the Sandman, we went to the Catholic school, where we met some shadow people and we saved one of our friends. Now we're off to explore the rest of the town to try and figure out what exactly has happened here. Go go check out some books. That was odd. Children's books, stories. A little boring. Where's your dirty magazines at? I know you libraries have them, right? Is it okay to leave the door wide open when there's a cash register here? I don't think there's ever been a case of, uh, dream fevery, but you know. I guess that's about it for this building. Well, no, uh, manga, no, uh... Porn or nothing. What a waste of time. Ooh, candy store. Hmm. I love the ice cream here. Maybe I can get a sample if I go in. Maybe not the time. Figures. Of course it's locked. I'd be a real thief breaking the door to the mall. How can I get in? Break the window instead? Someone's sleeping inside. A worker for the security company. Hey, the door's open. I think I can go in. Good. Now we can just ram the car into the front door and that'll solve our problem. Or we can take his key. Card. If this guy is with the safety guard, then maybe he has a card. Sorry, sir. Let me just search you. Ah! Security card. That must be it. I preferred my car ramming idea. It sounded much more cooler and more deadly with glass flying everywhere. Oh. One, two, three. Ah, I gotta solve a puzzle. One, seven. Excellent. I've infiltrated the mall to, you know, help people and solve this mystery and maybe take a few Christmas presents while I'm at it for myself. Blumber, huh? The Blumberg Shopping Mall. Welcome to the Blumberg Shopping Mall, a wonderland for everything from shopping to dining to movies. Have yourself a good time. This bear always creeps me out. My teddy is so much cuter. Plus this one's a weird mascot for consumerism.
Let's see. Shadows are down. What a shame. Can we steal some food, maybe? Can't even steal a coffee. How awful. What the? A doll. Some kid must have forgotten it. That, that freaked me out. It laughs when you touch the stomach. Like a lot of dolls. Hmm. All these shutters are closed. Damn, that's a real shame. Because we're just going up. Oh, fuck! W what? What's that? A gunshot? There must be people awake here. Hopefully it's in a good way. Antiques. More clothes. More things I can acquire. Ooh. Posters. Aside from a movie being shown. A tragic first love. Won't you remember it again? You're a girl. Gah. I hate love stories. They're just bleated lies. Edgemaster, Lord of the Blades. And let's see, they got a movie for Pokemon. The long awaited movie for the hit game, Dragon Hunter. Huh, I've played this game before. Not that I could get anywhere, though. I don't stand a chance against a huge dragon. Come on. A digital remastering of the immortal classic, Kenny Got His Gun. Hey, I've seen this. I think it was a war movie. Kinda scary. But it's cool to see it back in feeders. Can you endure the horror? You'll just have to hide and see. I hate horror movies. Even the commercial for this was scary. I wish they stopped playing that at night. No movies being shown here? This dream world pretty much sucks. I mean, you basically just exist in a world that just stands stagnant, and you get none of the advantages. Like, I can't go and watch free movies, or acquire things in a somewhat illegal manner that makes them displaced from their original position. I can't break windows. I hear talking. Someone's in there. Can't make anything out. Well, yeah, it's a feeder. Of course it's soundproofed. Soldiers? With helmets and guns? Oh, hold on. They're on the stage. Ah, military otaku. Reagan, why is she here? Ah, well, at least they're, you know, up. Get some good morale going on here. This guy really knows how to move a crowd. Hey, what's going on here? Untie me this instant! We tickle her to death? Oh, firing squad, that's a good one. Yeah, way to insult me. Sir, yes, sir! 
I don't think this is fair. You're not supposed to be using guns. You're supposed to chase me around furniture and stuff like that. Somebody... help me! Sir, yes, sir! And don't forget to capture the flag, troops. They're coming this way. I have to hide. What was that? Those aren't real soldiers, are they? Soldiers wouldn't do that. When did they capture Reagan? And why trying to kill her? I don't get it at all. I have to help her. They'll kill her if I leave her be. Some cutters. Maybe we could get some beers, you know, distract the soldiers. Sound devices, huh? Cardboard boxes. Oh. Uh, okay. You guys, uh, you guys aren't real soldiers, aren't you? Or you are, and you come from the school of Indiana Jones and patrolling and guarding areas. Reagan. Selfie? Why are you here? Quiet. They'll notice us. I'll cut the ropes. You know with how your hair is shaped, you look kind of like Panty from Panty and Stocking. Not so much when you see you, like, in detail, but your sprite anyway. Damn it. What's with those guys? Up and saying they're gonna kill a girl. What did I ever do, huh? Reagan? Why are you here so late at night? Huh? How should I know? I was asleep in my room, then woke up here. They must have kidnapped me. They... they came right into Mama's mall. I'll have them sued. Now I'll teach them, and their guns. It's a well-known fact that contracts and lawyers defeat any form of weaponry. I think that can wait for later. Reagan, things are weird in town. Everyone's asleep. And there were these shadows. At any rate, let's get out of here. There's a friend of mine outside. What? Escape? That's never going to happen. They're patrolling. They'll find us if we move. Oh, I don't know about that. They didn't see me free you. I don't think they're too bright. Well, then what, Reagan? They're going to notice you got away. If you sit still, they're going to find you. Shut up! Don't order me around, Sophie. Why don't you try to escape? I'll wait for Mama to come help. Reagan? Why are you crying, Reagan? Papa and Mama are fighting again. Papa was yelling, and Mama was crying. I'm too scared to go back home. Hey, Reagan. My Mama's dead, you know. Why'd she die? She was shot by Ben Crabber or something. So I don't have a mom. It's just me and Papa. But don't cry. But I don't cry. I have to keep going even without Mom. If I cry, Papa would worry, right? So you shouldn't cry, Reagan. If you cry, you're a crybaby. Do you want to be a crybaby, Reagan? No. I don't want to be a crybaby. Then play with me. Your mom and dad should get along again soon. We can play until then. Okay. And only five years later, they hated each other. Cry, baby. What? I said you're a crybaby. You act so high and mighty bowling people. 
but you can't do a thing by yourself. S say that again, why don't you? Cry, baby. I'll say it again and again. You haven't changed one bit since kindergarten. You're useless without your mommy to help. Even your bullying. You just use me to take out your stress when things don't go well at home. Shut up! You say that like I need you. First of all, you and me? Completely different. For one, you have red hair. You're just jealous. No mom, and your dad abandons you? You're jealous, because nobody will save you. Th that's not... My papa may be trash, but mama loves me. She's concerned for me, even now. I'm sure she'll come back for me soon. And nobody will come look for you. So don't stump yourself with me. L look, I I'm sorry. So what? You're going to just sit here for your mom until those soldiers come kill you. Sorry, but that's not my idea of a plan. I'm going to stay on their side and run. What about you? Fine, I'll come with. But how do you expect to escape? I don't know. But it's dark. I'm sure there's a way to avoid being seen. We'll do something. I know, the doll. We'll use that doll to distract them because they're complete idiots. A cardboard box. We could use this. Take off the ox. Jesus Christ. I can't help but be reminded of the voice I used when I played the original Crooked Man. Oh well, yeah, a sneaky mission. I think I just went the wrong way. Let's see if this affects my save file. Oh, I can't save. Okay. What's this cardboard box doing here? A box? Here? Must be in my imagination. Oh, fuck! Sophie? Sophie? Sophie! A box? Here? Oh, it's a close one. I've got to sneak out of here. But he's blocking the last stairs. I'll have to find every way out. Oh, this drink in the book. Oh, shit. I wasn't quite sure if you would see me right there. So many soldiers. What's the plan now? We're not making outside like this. Be quiet. 
Maybe I can distract them somehow. Maybe I can distract them somehow. I know. If I toss this doll to distract them. Stash outside. Uh oh. Run! Get up, Reagan. Run! We did it. We escaped. They're watching us. Reagan, run. We gotta go further. <sighs> we did it, Reagan. We made it out. Reagan? Reagan? Where'd you go? Don't tell me she fell behind. I know I was running for my life. But I thought we were together. Now what? I have to find her. But David might be waiting. Okay, I'll have David help. I'm sure the two of us can find her. David, you have to help! What's the hurry? Regan, an old friend of mine, she... She might be killed by soldiers. Please. Help me look for Reagan. She might be killed if we don't find her. And Anne, too. What if... Sophie, calm down. What in the world happened? At the mall, there were these soldiers. I tried to help Reagan. We got away, but Reagan... Sophie, what's wrong? I don't know. I just feel tired all of a sudden. Sophie, take a break. You're pushing yourself too much. It's okay. I'll listen. But first you need to calm down. Suspicious soldiers. What could that be about? Is the army getting involved in this? I don't think they're real soldiers. I mean, it's too weird. Why send a high school girl to a firing squad? Yeah. I'm really at a loss here. But I'm sure your friend is fine. I haven't seen any shadows or soldiers like you saw. Maybe they just can't go outside. You made it out with her, right? So she should be fine. Don't worry yourself sick. At any rate, take a break. You shouldn't push it. Which is what I always say. Sorry for always worrying you, David. <sighs> Who cares about me? I'll just be happy if you don't do anything rash. Hey, Sophie. I really am worried for you, you know. You've always seemed pained, ever since we met. Sophie, let's go have lunch. Yeah, give me a sec. Huh? What's wrong? I thought I had five bucks in my wallet. Did I drop it somewhere? Hey, look girls. I just found a fiver. Oh, really? Talk about lucky, Reagan. Guess I am. I suppose some doofus dropped it. I'm gonna splurge on dessert today. Why are you always standing on your chair? Um, Sophie? I, I've got some allowance, Bunny. I can pay for lunch today. It's fine. I don't want lunch. I think I lost my appetite.
Man, I'm hungry. I knew I should have had Anne get me lunch. Maybe I have enough for ice cream. Mmm, this new ice cream is great. Maybe this was a stroke of luck after all. You've got liquor in my ice cream! And you got ice cream in my liquor! My god, this is a brilliant combination. Whoa, sorry. I wasn't looking. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, your ice cream. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll pay for it. Did I get on your uniform? Are you okay? It's fine. And it's just ice cream. Sorry for bumping into you. But... Um, do you mind me asking? Are things going okay for you? You look kind of pale. I'm just tired. And I'm always pale. I'm really fine, so please don't worry. You don't need to pay for the ice cream, either. Well, look. The cake here is really good. I love sweet stuff, myself. I come here all the time to unwind after work. I'm really sorry about earlier. I hope you can forgive me. Thank you very much. He's right. This chocolate cake is great. But it won't heal the darkness in my heart. I feel like it's been so long since I ate sweets with someone. Sophie? What's wrong? Bullied? Well, I'd seen that happen to me, too. But flight school is different from girls' Catholic school. Bullies just can't face up to themselves, you know. Can't solve their own problems, so they attack others. Sex having to be a victim, of course. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe the girl who's bullying me can't face up to herself. I knew her as a kid, and I know there's family trouble. But I remember how we used to play together, so I can't bring myself to tell her to stop. I feel like I should just put up with it. No need to, uh, torture yourself like that. Maybe you should just be honest about it. Oh, well, sorry. I know I'm a total stranger, so it's none of my business. Don't say that. I feel better just having someone listen. Thanks so much. The cakey was delicious. I'm glad you listened to me, too. I don't have anyone else to talk to. Well, goodbye. Sophie. I, uh, live nearby, actually. If we meet again, would you talk to me? I can at least listen if you want me to. Is that okay? Yeah, of course. If you're troubled, come to this restaurant. And if we see each other, we'll talk. Every time we've met, you've still seemed troubled. Especially these days. I can't help but worry. No, nothing's really changed since we met. It's just one bad thing after another, and I'm as sleepless and irritated as ever. Enough of this, okay, David? Enough about me. I can put up with it. Lots of people have to suffer. I don't want to be the one who whines and cries about it. I can forget about the bad things with time. And this situation is more important. We haven't seen a single other person awake, and have no clue what could be going on. Hey, Sophie. Have you seen your father? 
Huh? Your father stays at work a lot, right? So I was wondering if you saw him. Was he at home? No, he wasn't. He left a note saying he'd be at work, so I'm sure he'd be there. I'd say go look for him. You're worried about him, right? But I'm worried about Reagan. And Anne, too. Well, I can look for those, too. Your father works at J.P. Gordon and Chase, right? I'll head there, too, if I find him. Name of company having no relation to the actual company? And if you finish first, come to the Fountain Park, okay? Thanks, David. I'll do that. David? Hmm? What? Is there anyone you want to look for, David? Anyone really important you want to see? Nope. I'm just happy if you're safe. Huh? Well, I'll see you later. Be careful. He's so dreamy. Too bad he's a married man. And that's it for The Sandman, Part 2. Well, it seems like everyone who's directly connected with the main character is being pulled in, or at least awoken to this dream world. So it's probably some subconscious thing, like... The Anne was afraid of being bullied and said, uh, I can't be bullied in your place, or some kind of dark secret about Anne, maybe. And, um... So she, her spirit was like a bunch of bullies or something bullying her. And uh, Reagan was a bunch of soldiers. I have no idea what the soldiers have to do with her. It could have just been a random thing, I don't know. But it could have just been a form of retribution or something like that too. Because it just seems more dramatic to firing squad or something like that. Anyway, thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 3 of The Sandman.